Hi guys, it's your girl Kill Chemist, and I'm popping on camera to do a quick outfit of the day. So, uh, let's get started. So, my hair is in a style that was inspired by another YouTuber um, here. Um, I think her channel is Joy Merrily, and I will post a link to the video that I watched that inspired this kind of swoopy, spirally bang situation that I have and the flat twist going back. Um, I was asked to do a tutorial. I attempted to do a tutorial on my iPad, but for some reason it is not loading um, on the YouTube Capture app on my iPad. It is it keeps resetting. It won't load. I don't know what's going on. Um, so what I'll try to do briefly right now is explain to you what's going on. So my hair. I have one kind of off the super off the center side part and I flat twisted my locks going back on this side. And then in the front I have one, one, let's see, one, two, three, like flat twist coming forward that I then twisted all the way down like a rope twist and then I just formed this circular bang and then the side are drooping curls that are falling um, I will try to do a, a video again but it just wouldn't load and is getting on my nerves so that's that so that's the hair uh, on my face I have a kind of a goldy yellow lid color um, I have some wet n wild pearlescent pink blush on my cheeks and on my lips I if you follow me on Instagram hi Amaya if you follow me on Instagram then you know that I have been um, trying out all these new NYC lip colors that I recently purchased in my background okay um, somebody is video bombing my video right now but um yeah, these are, what I have on my lips today is the NYC City Proof Twistable Lip Crayon that looks like this. And I think they're fairly new. And these are either 2 or $3. The lipsticks are either $2 and these are $3 or vice versa. Um, this one is called Riverside Rose. And it's really pretty. I'm loving all of these. They, they go on really nice and smooth. Uh, they're mostly like a matte not really matte because they have I guess like I said a sheen satin whatever um, but just not a lot of shimmers just flat color but with some shine to it and they're moisturizing like you can put them directly on your lips and not have to add anything else so I really like them um, so if you follow me on Instagram then you've seen I've been posting pictures with these um, in my ears I have these earrings that I made a long time ago when I was really into making earrings with leather and suede and all that good stuff so that's what let's see yeah I'll take it off and show it to you up close it's just like a leaf with a little yeah I don't know what I was doing at the time and I want to share my outfit because I'm wearing a dress that I made so I'm super excited so let's get started Ooh, my legs are so sore, guys. I've been working my legs out and, yeah, sore. Um, I'm wearing this leather jacket. It's a little chocolate brown leather jacket that I've had for a while. And underneath, this is the dress that I made. Um, so if you follow me on Instagram, then you know I have been posting pictures of things that I have made. I am not a expert sewer. I'm still very new, still learning. I don't even really use patterns for most of the things that I sew, but I've really gotten into it. I love the fact that I can create something not really expensive, um, but play around with really fun prints. Something like this I probably would not purchase on a, unless it were like really on sale because it's not a practical piece that you could wear again and again and again without you know it being very obvious that you keep wearing it I mean you could probably cover up the top with a sweater and then wear the bottom like a skirt but what I'm saying is it's not a very practical print but it's a very pretty print and so for uh, a little bit of money and a little bit of time with my sewing machine um, I can play around and have these pieces this dress um, no pattern I just kinda made a I kind of made a pattern from another shirt that was like a crisscross shirt um, and then when I made it I cut it kind of low so then I had to add a little piece in but that's you know it's, you know uh, yeah it happens um, and then I just attached to it like a skirt piece that I cut out like an A-line skirt and I attached some sleeves and this is it but I, I really love it I love this print 
Um, it's probably more fall than spring, definitely, and it kind of has this kind of ethnic, earthy, I don't know. I really like it, though. It's got some animal print. It's got some, like, Aztec-ish kind of thing happening in there. Really cute. I like it. I'm wearing it with just my little chocolate brown boots. It's supposed to warm up a little bit here today, but we are still not, to me, officially. That's my slip showing. Uh, we are not officially in spring, as far as I'm concerned. It's going to get up into the 50s. It's going to be rain, but next week they're saying we might get snow. So I'm still trying to find fun ways to kind of lighten up my wardrobe, but at the same time be mindful that winter is still hanging out. So yeah, guys, I hope you like this dress. Um, what I will encourage any of you who are interested in sewing, learning how to sew, there are tons of tutorials here on YouTube. Um, there are some sewing groups on Facebook, and that's pretty much what I started watching that inspired me to sew. My mother used to sew, just to point that out. My mother did used to sew, but she never taught me how to sew on a machine. I would help her, like, cut out patterns and stuff back in the day, but she really didn't show me how to sew. I just was around her creating things, so I've always had an appreciation for um, things that people make. But I'm teaching myself, and I'm really excited, and I hope you guys like this, and I'll see you soon. Bye.